Oh, fucking Christ. Then turn it off. Oh, Murphy's turning on Battlefield 4. Oh, he's here. I'm here. I had Acre. Yeah, I don't want to drone anyways. The, the, but I'd like to do... Oh. Put down one. Alright. What Mortarman, or what ammo bear do you want me to grab? Are oh, you both Mortarman? We should hunt IR. <laughs> uh, it would just be uh, Mortar. Once Murphy is right. you can get him his stuff. Remember team leads and instructions that were given to you. I can hear the gears turning as they try to remember what I told them. I going to say, instructions that were given to me. What instructions? Because I wasn't team lead until about two minutes ago. What yep. should you do when your guys are ready? Oh, oh get them lined up in front of you. Oh, yeah. I wasn't here for that instruction, I don't think. Or if I was, I was busy doing something. I'll, try, I'll run this today and see how it works. All right, uh, Alpha, go ahead and get off to my left. So we're all roughly in line. Oh, wait. I did not read a name. <laughs> no, no, I did not read a name. For some reason, I thought fucking Ka Callahan was you, and I don't know why. All right, <laughs> off to my left. Left in a line. There we go. a boy. Oh boy, somebody's not getting the whip. Just ignore Callahan for the moment. Should be able to get the farm down. Where Gardner? I said my fucking. I got a new mouse, and these buttons are set to the number buttons, and I cannot oh, make them. Um, do you are you using Razor? Yeah. Uh, do you have the Razor program? I do. Do you have it open? Or is it yes. updating? Okay. You, yeah, you should be able to just click on the buttons and set them as numpad. Or whatever the hell you have them set as. Alright, Murphy, Gardner, what's your guys' ETA? The no, server. They're... Also, Gardner, you have the new mods, right? C-Tab and uh, yes. Pharmacy. Awesome. New mods, Arma is loading. Murphy, do you have those two new mods loaded? Uh, loaded. Loaded and uh, loading Arma. Um, who's our CLS so we know who has the needle? Because it what feels... do you think it is? I don't know. I literally have no idea. It's me. Who's me? It's no, Kurt. for mortars, it's uh, it's not taken in, into account. Um, we never assigned one for mortars. It would typically be the ammo bearer, but he is I, still I'm way actually, down. Yeah, no, I actually have, wait for it. I can take him, and I'm CLS qualified. But, uh, worst comes to worst, we have our designated CLS, always. Uh, where did it... Alright, it's, it's gonna be in the full ammo box. I better not die tonight, because <clears throat> otherwise I gotta grab all this shit. Actually, um, real quick, to carry? Miller... Oh. Go grab an ammo bearer kit. Uh, Murphy will be taking the gunner slot first um, for Bravo. So Murphy, whenever you get in here, grab a mortar gunner kit. If you don't have one, one is public for you. Uh, let me see. Hey, farm. Gardner, you're, it looks like you'll be ammo bearer first, so just grab that whenever you get in. Uh, that'd be mortar ammo bearer. So if you don't have that, same thing, kit is public. I'm going to go ahead and get into my spiel so that we can at least get an early start and get you guys some range time. So, uh, if you're already in the game, um, just go ahead and tab out real quick and go to the chat where I just posted a document. We're not going to go through the entirety of the document. We're going to do a brief skim through and make sure everybody's on the same page when it comes to mortars. So. Um, general overview on mortars. Oh, already a cow mine. Go ahead, Hodos. Uh, I don't know if this is intentional, but it was already set that I was able to edit it. I changed my setting immediately, but it might be set for everybody that way. Be 
yeah, that's my mistake. If you want a comment only uh, view, go to that. That way you're not accidentally making edits. All right. So general overview on mortars. So mortar sections provide commanders with organic indirect fire that maneuver units in close combat used to defeat an enemy. Military history has repeatedly demonstrated the effectiveness of mortars in close combat. Their high angle fires are invaluable against dug in enemy troops and targets and defilate, which are not as vulnerable to attack by direct fires. Commanders use mortar fires with direct fire weapons to defeat, suppress, foil, and obscure enemy forces. Mortar platoons and sections provide fires that ease combat tasks of ground force commanders by providing agility, mass, and depth to a tactical level battlefield. So uh, that put simply is mortars allow commanders to achieve things uh, one easier by uh, either providing fires that their regular line troops are not able to, especially their machine gun sections can only really provide direct fires and very slight plunging fires. Uh, mortars are able to give uh, effective plunging fires because every shot is, uh, is plunging fire. For loadouts, uh, you don't have to worry too much about that. That's already been kind of taken care of for most of you. Uh, just keep in mind everybody's role. Uh, the ammo bearer obviously carries ammo, but he's also the 2IC in case the team leader goes down. The mortar gunner needs to focus on, guess what, gunning. So he needs to, um, the 3IC usually, uh, and not listening to any radio nets higher than his own squad net. And then obviously the team leader, everyone should be familiar with uh, his role as well as the squad leader. So if you want to learn a little bit about the actual weapon system we'll be using today, there's a little um, handy dandy uh, description here. Uh, big notes off of this is the minimum range is 70 meters, which we'll probably never use it for 70 meters exactly. Um, our uh, minimum uh, close range uh, engagements are probably only going to be uh, 200. So we're not going to try to engage targets within 100 meters with uh, mortar rounds. If they're within 100 meters, we could probably just hit them with standard rifle fire or just maneuver on them. Maximum range is 1,340 meters. Um, again, we probably won't be hitting them at that exact um, max. Uh, realistically, and from what we've seen um, in operations, 1,200 is probably a more realistic maximum for the mortars. And this is all uh, terrain dependent on uh, what kind of altitude you have. So the different ammo types we have, uh, we only have three different. It's the uh, 60 mic mic HE charge zero and charge one. And then there's a, a loom. Uh, which Illum actually separates into two categories as well, Illum and Illum IR. But we hardly use those, so we won't be discussing those too much. Uh, but Charge 0 is uh, 70 to 400 meters, and Charge 1 is 300 to 1,340. And next, we'll be talking about some of the principles of mortar employment. So some of you who've been around the machine gun section for a while uh, will recognize the uh, principles of pick them deep. While mortars have uh, similar um, principles, uh, just the names will be uh, slightly altered for uh, a few of them. So the very first one is uh, positioning. An 0341 will attempt to place his mortar team in the best position available given terrain and mission considerations to provide accurate and timely fire missions. This positioning should take into account flatness of the terrain to which the base plate will be placed on, altitude advantages, overhead obstructions, sight lines, and avenues of approach to that position. D during positioning is the placement of the mortar with the primary target and additional targets within the 90 degree arc it can traverse without being picked up and repositioned. So on that note, uh, when you initially place your mortar, you will have about um, 800 uh, mils of traversal in um, the left and right directions. Uh, based off of where your mortar is centered on. So just keep that in mind. That's uh, 
800 mils each way, so 1600 total, which gives you about a 90 degree arc. Next, we have integrating fires. An O341 should attempt to integrate his fires with the other systems organic to the weapon squad and be aware of when and where his fires will best complement the other weapon systems. If infantry are scattering from machine gun fire, dispersed HE shells can cover the area while the machine guns focus on small groups. Coordination of fires dictates use of appropriate weapons to fire on appropriate targets. This allows maximum effectiveness of all weapon systems employed to conserve ammunition and also to mask the mortar position until fires are required. When engaging targets in the open, the weapon squad will have the choice between engaging with machine guns or mortars. For targets that have overhead cover, such as bunkers, machine guns may be more effective and as such should be used. For targets in deflator behind cover, mortars may be more effective with their own plunging fires. Next, we have munitions match missions. So this is just a, a reminder to use the correct uh, charge type or round for the mission at hand. So if a target is uh, beyond 100 meters but is within 400 meters, charge zero should be used. If a target is beyond 300 meters but within 400 meters, either charge may be used. And if a target is beyond 400 meters, charge one should be used. And then for all illumination missions, ensure only illumination is being sent unless HE is requested immediately following. Deflade. This one's a big one. Whenever possible, the mortar team should be placed in deflade to protect the crew during fire missions and to mask the mortar's position. Next, we have ensure fire support considerations are communicated. Whenever the mortars are planned to be utilized, fire support considerations should be discussed prior in order to minimize risk and confusion during combat. Additionally, as the danger area and chance for blue on blue increases inherently with mortars, the timely communication of fire missions, such as when and where rounds will be impacting, is key in preventing collateral or unintentional damage to friendly civilians or civilian infrastructure. And the last two are very similar to the machine guns, economy and protection. Um, I won't go too in depth with those because as a machine gunners, you should be pretty familiar with them. All right. So uh, I want you to quick peruse through the operation and firing section here. Uh, it literally walks you through how to uh, set it up, how to sight it in, how to load it, how to uh, fire it, and how to unload it as well as packing it up. We'll um, get you some hands-on practice here in a bit. Now some uh, notes for the uh, for employment and gunnery of the M224 mortar. Um, one big factor, and this is for team leads especially to keep in mind, is the hidden 50 concept. So the hidden 50 concept is when engaging almost any target, there's usually a hidden 50 to add onto the range in order to actually hit the target. This can be caused by a variety of factors, uh, but for almost every uh, fire mission you give, uh, if you add 50, you'll typically actually uh, be on target. And then um, last, but not least, before we go on to the range, uh, I want to go over fire commands. So fire commands are instructions issued to the gun crews that enable them to properly engage the desired targets. These, there are two types of fire commands, initial and subsequent. Initial fire commands are issued to engage targets and to shift fire to new targets. Subsequent fire commands are issued to adjust fire, change the rate of fire, shift fire, lift fire, and seize fire. So the fire commands that you're going to be given are going to be utilized or utilizing uh, ADRAC. So ADRAC is a acronym for alert, dispersion, direction, range, assignment, or um, method, and control. So uh, the A in alert is the type of fire you're going to be uh, sending. So this will be either fire for effect, illumination, adjust fire, um, what have you. Dispersion, uh, typically if we don't give a dispersion off of an ADREC, assume it is a 50 mil dispersion. If we uh, do give one, then obviously use the one that we give. Direction, this is given in mils and to ensure that we're as accurate as we can be. In an emergency case, we can use a bearing. 
um, which is like your 220 or 180 or 090, uh, but those are, tend to be pretty inaccurate. Mills will give you the best uh, accurate or precise um, direction to give. Uh, and then range, pretty obvious. Uh, assignment or method. So this is typically, you're going to give the amount of rounds that you're going to fire and adjust, and then give the amount of rounds you're going to fire and effect. So uh, since most fire missions are about six rounds, you're go if you were to say two and adjust, you're probably going to follow that up with four and effect. And then uh, control. So uh, keep in mind that the team leader has ultimate control of when that tube actually goes hot. Uh, he can either say at my command, meaning he wants all those rounds ready, and then he'll probably fire whenever both tubes or um, get clearance or what have you. Or he could just say when ready, meaning we probably need that fire mission out right now. So as soon as that uh, round is hanging, the gunner will fire. So, and then last but not least, here's an example of a fire command. Fire for effect, 50 mils dispersion, 1266 mils, 550 meters. Four rounds HE, charge one at my command. Pretty simple stuff. Anybody have any questions about what we've went over? I know you probably started tuning me out about halfway there. I know I did. Negative. I got it, just need practice to smooth it. Okay. Corporal Draper, what does the M in Pick 'em Deep for Mortars stand for? Ooh, uh, not mutual support then. No. What do we have that the that the two uh, forties don't? What can we change that they can't on the fly? Come on, you know it. Uh, munitions. There we yep. go. So, what does munitions match uh, missions mean? Right ammo for the right job. All right, Lance Corporal Gardner, what is the maximum effective range of a mortar? Gardner. Sorry, sorry, someone was talking about up. What is the maximum effective range of a mortar? Is it 800? Negative. Documents 500? In the document's in front of you. 4 to 500? Negative. It's a mortar. I'm... I... It's at least a thousand. What's your current height above sea level? <laughs> current height above sea level? Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? I don't even know where it is in the document. I was I was fighting with keybinds and mods the whole time you were talking, man. I'm sorry. All right, great. Well, you'll be relying on your team lead a lot more than um, would have otherwise if you had paid attention a little more. All right, it's 1,340 meters. All right, team leads, go ahead, or actually everybody get back into the game. Go acre on. Gardner, go grab your kit, which should be an ammunition bearer. And everyone come meet me at Mortar Range Delta. All right, acre on. Teleporter pole is right here. Gunner, do you have the ammo kit? Acre on. All right, acre on. We're going to be teleporting. We're going to be teleporting to Delta, Range Delta. Acre right. on Delta. Gardner, do you have an, M an ammo bear kit for this? Yeah, I'm grabbing one. All right, cool. Um, I'm trying to think. Don't forget your 262 mags. Uh, there is a full arsenal over there to your northwest. North northwest. I think that's everything. Yep.
right? You good to go? Oh, wait, never mind. I see. This one's already got him to 6 too. Okay. Okay, we're good. All right. Let's go to uh, range delta. It's going to be scrolling a ways down. I think it's at the bottom, actually. Hey, what's our 511? Five there we go. Nine for squad, five eleven for team. Go away. Hold on, give me a second, Miles. Give me a second. EFC Murphy, radio check five nine. If I don't see a flag on me, I'm gonna be disappointed. Yep. Team Charlie five nine. Here, check five niner. Yep. Team Charlie five niner. All right, team leads. I want you to drill your guys and setting up the their mortar kit, uh, getting a ready round in, and then unpack or unloading that round, packing up and being ready to move and drill them at least three times before the range can go hot. Alpha copies. Uh, uh, Trevor, you're in the wrong kit. Yeah, I know. Gunner, come on. Jeffers. Bravo copies. Jeffers in the right one. Okay, range delta. Waiting for you. Yep, yeah, on the way. Go hot. Should quit looking at me like this. Oh. Alright, go ahead and head in. Alright, Draper, we're facing east. Go ahead and drop that mortar and get it set up. Gardner, come in. Stand up, stand to his right near where he's going to be setting the tube. Keep set. Yep, hop on. All right. Cold. You're, you ready? Gardner, go ahead and throw him a charge one. Say loading charge one. And then, loading charge one. And then when it's full and he's ready to fire, go hanging. Hanging. All right. Now, we're not going to fire it. So, we've got called to pack it. The target's not viable anymore. So you're going to say unloading charge one. Unloading charge one. Clear. And then Draper knows that he's ready to Clear. pick it up. All right, so dismount and then pick it up, Draper. Moving. All right. So drop the uh, setup again. Drop the tube. Gunner on standby. This is charge zero. This is a Set. close contact. Gardner, load it when he's uh, got it going. Alright, Drew. What's going on? Oh. There we go. Okay, there you go. Hanging. Alright, target's too close and get you with guns. Pack it. Unload. Unloading. Charge zero. Dropped. Guns. Yep. And you got it. Pew pew. Pew pew. All right. Now, uh, since we're not going to be moving far, Gardner, pick up. Pick it up. We'll run you through the drill real quick. Draper, you're taking the ammo bear. Something came in. Uh, we burned some rounds. You had to get reinserted. We kept the tube. All right. Uh, you having trouble picking it up? No, I can figure it out. It's easier if you use the scroll menu than the ace and direct half the time, depending on the placement. Yeah, uh, okay. Gardner? Cool, we got to the new position. Go ahead and throw it down. Is what is it? Scroll? Where, where's the option at? No, no, no. Place so, it down, just look down, and then uh, place tripod. Yeah, there you go. Get on the tube. Draper, this is going to be charge one. Any call for fire? Roger, Ready. waiting for him to appear. Yep. There you are. Holding charge one. Hanging. There you go. Cool. The fire mission went out. We're packing and moving. Unloading. Yep. Tube cold. Alright. Dismount Clear. and pick it up. There you go. Alright. Stand, Gardner, stand back. I'm not, I wasn't getting the... Uh, I know, no. I, what I'm saying is if stand back, because where I was... Uh, drop it and pick it up again. Try and master that art so that um, so that we don't have to worry about it. Well, on flat ground, anyways. Okay. Now, yeah, stand back a bit, and it should it hovers above it. It doesn't actually go on the thing. 
So, like, where I'm at right now facing it, it's, like, a foot away, and I can pick it up. It, it's kind of wonky. There you go. Okay, and you guys know the trick. Okay, drop it real quick. I want to show you something, real, uh, how to reposition it. So, when you realign it, it's not going to realign to where you're facing. So, like, say, I'm trying to realign it over to the southish. I have to look at the thing, uh, interact with it. Uh, actually, is it interact or realign? Let me see. Oh, uh, it's, yeah, realign mortar on a scroll wheel. So, I'm going to click that. Oh, that actually did it for once. What the fuck? Okay, let's see. Realign. <laughs> oh, they fixed it somehow. Because before it was going at angles. It wasn't actually going to where you're pointing. So, yeah, now if you realign the mortar, it looks like it's, yep, it goes to where you point. It just be janky based on terrain. This seems pretty good, though. <laughs> That's not a bad bet. Okay, let me see. There you go. Yeah. So realigning is now quick and simple. All right. You want to pick it up, Draper? You haven't had any trouble with it, right? Nope. I'm going to pick it up. Did you just scroll wheel on it? That's usually one of the easier methods, depending. Yeah, I thought it did something weird if you picked it up with a scroll wheel, but if that works and it's not an issue, then fuck it. Just, let's make it work. It's usually the fastest way when you throw it down to get in it because it's the first scroll wheel option when you look at it. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cheatsy doodle a little bit and grab that target. Alright. Your uh, micro? Yeah, no, I got, I got the... Um, get the laser link. 2372, 28591. Uh. 2372.0. Two three seven two one eight five nine. What are you shooting at? I got the two story square building. That one? Yeah, now I got the construction building. Two three nine eight one eight six five. Set up some TRPs. Two three nine eight one eight six five. All right, Alpha. How many times have you done the drill? Uh, four times, and then I also had uh, different ones do it. Okay. All right, you guys are clear to go hot whenever you feel like it. Copy. For um, this range, um, Kilborn, I just wanted you to practice with the uh, vector and uh, micro dagger. That combination of just uh, spotting your target, having the fucking five digit grid thing show up, and uh, just using that for yeah. Uh, I've, I've already been I've already been doing it right now, running the uh, oh, okay good. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the memorization down. All right. Okay. Uh, go ahead and drop it, Draper. Dropping. All right, utilizing what I grabbed. Uh, yep, get set up. This is going to be that construction building. All right, bearing is one four one one mil. Or actually, let me let me pull up the list and actually practice calling it out right so that I get used to it. Since it's not where since we're doing it properly these days. Um, all right, fire for adjustment. It'll be zero mil dispersion. We're going to nail it dead on. It is one four one one mils. Range is eight four, uh, four or eight four six. One round HE. Charge one. At my command. Loading charge one. Hanging. All right. Uh -huh. uh, also, ear plug check before we get it. Fire. Firing. Let's see where this bad boy lands. And uh, generally, Gardner, assume that we're going to be prepped for the next fire mission, especially when it's an adjustment. Okay, loading charge one. Yep. Hanging. Add five. Five to ten. 
and repeat. Five to ten range or five to ten range. Mills. A firm. You are just in front of the building. Ready. Fire. Firing. And from here, we're going to fire at ready, as long as you adjust. Roger. Hang in. Where'd that land? Did it... Oh, there it is. Good hit. Bang on. Good, nice Repeat. Time. Two rounds. HE. Charge one. Firing. And that, that basically means... Yeah, that you slam it as quick as they're in. Good shot, good shot. We're gonna be shifting over to the two-story building. It is one four three zero mils. Range is five five seven five. One round he. Fire at ready. Or fire when ready. All right. Which one? Hang in. That was a bit off. Fire again? Should be uh, 1430 mils. 1430 range 575. Correct. Firing. Loading charge one. I'm hanging. Let me, uh, let me see how this compares to what I got earlier. What are you aiming for? Okay, yeah, so that's about right. That, uh, that two, that little two-story building. Squat one. Two yellow stories, uh... Yeah. Military? There we go. Alright. All right. Shift, le uh, shift right about... 10 mils. That should put us on the right side of the building, I believe. Firing. Center right. Loading charge one. Copy that. Hanging. What's the play time on these? Uh, a minimum of 20 seconds. Word. There you go, you hit it. Uh, repeat fire mission. Dispersion will be three zero mils. So shift it left and right three zero mils as you fire. Uh, three rounds, HE. Charge one. Firing. Loading charge one. Can Hanging. Firing. Uh, yeah, that was uh, one four one one. Loading charge one. 1411. Hanging. And that would be the construction site at uh, about 840 meters. Plate. Copy that. Stand by for oh, fire mission. Okay. Shifting target. We're going to be hitting that far right tower. Hang. All right. Mill is 1582 mils. Range is 872 meters. Dispersion is 10 mils. Two rounds HE. Ladies, Charge you one. Feel like your teams are ready when you're ready. Live fire practice come meet at the teleport pole that you spawned in on. So again, fire mission, two rounds HE. Roger. Two rounds HE, one zero mils dispersion. My vectors do not want to actually connect to my micro dagger. Loading charge one. Hanging. Firing. Alpha, how copy? This is Alpha Solid Copy, finishing our, Loading, our little fire mission. Hanging. Yeah, no rush, take your time. Come well, on, let's see. I'm gonna... I really wish I could just port the uh all right there we go what do you want to port got the connection. yeah okay that was a that was a little bit in front of it one fucking key roger bravo break uh team leads take this time to practice giving your fire missions in the adrac format alpha copies all right so what you what we need you to do is add uh I forgot to give you the 50 on that when I was reading it straight. So that's going to be 932 meters. 1582 mil, and then fire. And let's see if it's right. more accurate this time. 2407, 
There we go. And this is... Dude, that was damn close to the tower. Uh, add five, send another one. Five meters. Sending. Loading charge one. Yep. Nagging. For adjustments for call for fire out the field. You think it's okay? Uh, well, adjustments at left and right and brads and then forwards and backwards and meters. Sorry, say that again. I had to actually turn it down a little bit. No. Yeah. Machine guns. Um, out in the field, just it's left and right and then brads and then yeah. up and down in meters would be acceptable. Yeah, copy. I, I should have just said zero mils adjustment because that was bang on. It just needed more range. Okay, so just that landed what right in front of the tower? Adjust yeah, it like it landed just about in front of it. Adjust ten meters further. All right. Yeah, up to meters. There we go. So when were you talking about porting? Loading charge one. About what? You're talking about porting Hang. something. Boarding? Yeah, porting. You're talking about porting something. Oh, I, yeah, I wish I wish that it would just take... I wish I could just throw down a waypoint using the uh, stuff that's already in there, like when I pull it directly from the vector. Yeah, you can do that with the micro dagger. You gotta, like, connect it to it. Yeah, no, I, I, I know I can, and I have gotten it. But then you can't turn that into a waypoint itself. You have to go to oh. your waypoints and edit manually that way. It's kind of... It's honestly easier if I had a building or a terrain piece to select on the map, because then I can just go to the map screen, double-click it, and there's a waypoint. I swear to God, I thought I made a waypoint, though. Alright, um... Let's change this up a little bit. Alright. Fire mission. Fire for effect. Dispersion, 50 meters. It'll be... Or, 50 mils. It'll be 1556 five, mils. 561 meters. Four rounds HE, charge one. Fire when ready. Firing. Living charge one. Hanging. Firing. Why did that happen? God damn it. Unloading charge zero. What, what was that? Oh, it's, it's a drone taking off. Hanging. Firing. Ooh, bang. Round bang two. on. Good shit, man. Good shit. And this is going to suppress the fuck out of that bunker. I am out of charge one. Copy that. Sure, um, right there's, there's an arsenal right here. These little tubes. Oh. Somebody grab some... Do you feel comfortable in the tube draper? Yeah, I'm good. I can get uh, guard and some practice here and I'll keep hanging for him. Copy. This is off. I'm going to give Gardner some tube time. Over. Roger. Hey, Killborn, what tubes do you want me to, or mortars you want me to grab? Yes. Uh, just grab, uh, we're at, we're doing a charge one range, so our charge one. I'm not nearly as worried about charge zero, because generally that's going to be stuff with insight that we're going to see the impact. But. Alright, uh, connect to, let me get that bunker. Bunker we were just engaging is, oh, I'm done. There it is. All right. There I got like How 16. 2371 1853. 2371 Okay, why don't you walk him through with your kill board too if he's sitting fresh? Two, two, three, seven, one, Sorry, I'm. I have to do this fucking. Yep, yeah, no worries. Just to so memorize. Because you have a page down. Yeah, it is. Your range adjustments. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have it set CC mills on your UI? Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Perfect. So that covers that. Um, inherently, Kilborn should be giving you that extra 50 in the range, so just try to yeah. get it bang onto what he's telling you. Yeah, the one time we fucked up was when I was uh, got caught up and read directly from it, but now we're good. All right. So about Mills is in bearing, correct? Yeah. Okay. M Mills is in your little uh, your little bearing. They're always going to be like super high compared to your uh, three-digit bearing. Okay. So I'm going to keep it simple for you. Uh, fire for adjustment. 
zero mil dispersion, uh, one five four five mils. Range is five six four meters. Two rounds HE. Charge one. When ready. Loading charge one. Hanging. Five four six. You said. Uh, one five four five. One five four six is fine too. They're close enough, and this is close enough that it's it's not going to be a precision shot. <laughs> You have a you, your mouse is DPI, right? Yeah. Generally, what I'd say is once you get within a hundred mils of some anything, drop it to a low one, and then just slide it slowly. And remember, like in the field, unless it's a super far target at the edge of uh, range, it's not going to matter if you're within one or two mils of it. I'm never going to give you a fire mission super close to friendlies, and if I ever do, we'll have enough time to drop it. But uh. Yeah, generally you want it in the ballpark of it. So, All right, I am sped with numbers, so we gotta like one five four five. One five. What is like? What does that number pertain to? That's the mill. One five a four a five mills on the thing. Uh yeah. Oh well, yeah, in the upper right it should actually have the azimuth, which is one five four five. Okay. Azimuth is your spinning around thing, like a compass. Yeah. And then elevation. You're not going to use your elevation. Don't even worry about that number. Look at your Why look at your bubble. Reading, your bubble. Your bubble <laughs> should be ranged uh, on the big numbers one. I believe that's the okay. right side draper. Yeah, charge one is right side. Charge okay. Is the left side. Yeah, so you're going to be gaming at midway between five and six hundred. It's going to be five six four is your range. Okay. All right. When you got that, fire. Firing. All right. Load him up again. This one I will be. Uh, one. Don't fire until we see that one drop. Since you were having trouble, we want to see how accurate you were. Oh, my need my binos again. Come on, I gotta tell you about the game. So you're hanging. Oh uh, wait, one. We're we're having to drill the uh, gardener on it. He's pretty new to it. Oh, bang on. Good job. Fire again. Firing. Loading charge one. All right, Rust. Uh, do you have a net? Do you have a galaxy? I have a two dead. Yeah, cool. Send me send me the target information. I'll pull it up and I can use it that way. All right. What is that? Uh, two four zero two. One eight five nine. Tight helicopter. Stationary. Copy. Wait one. Two four zero two one eight five nine kilo. All right, new fire mission. Fire four effect, one zero mil dispersion, one four nine two mils, eight uh, eight seven eight meters. Three rounds. He charge one. At my command. Is the range? Range is eight seven eight. I find sometimes it helps me if I do a read back after he gives it mm -hmm. to me to make sure I understood it. So that way I can get clarification too if I'm off in the wrong digit. Okay, eight seven eight range and one four nine two. Yes. As okay. about Ready to fire. Fire. You're hanging. Yep. Firing. Loading charge one. Hanging. Go ahead and fire. Firing. Loading charge one. And did you shift it uh, 10 mils? Hanging. Fuck. It's fine. Just shift it left or right 10 mils. A little bit of dispersion. Firing. There Loading you go. Loading charge one. One more one. Hang. I sometimes charge zero, charge one, reverse position in. Uh, yeah. Oh, is that a thing? Is that why he loaded it weirdly? Yeah. yeah. I'm wondering if it. Flip to me. Uh, hold up. Uh, check your ammo count. See if they're like. Uh, see if you've. Probably did you switch? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. 
And now I'm dry, I've charged one anyway. Oh, okay. So yeah, when it drops below the charge zero number. Alright. Say again? Increase 10 meters fire for effect. Okay, yeah, increase 10 meters. I'm gonna, I'm gonna load you up. Loading charge one. Hanging. Fire when ready. Firing. Loading charge one. Hanging. Wait for the, uh, yeah. yeah. Go ahead and send out one more. There you go. Loading charge one. Hanging. Hold fire. God, I gotta get my DPI thing working again. I realized I changed it to a uh, different thing. <laughs> it's it an auto clicker. What would you need an auto clicker for? Duck off. Yeah, okay. facts. Of SKS not automatic. Automatic now. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, the bump fire button. Uh, this is Alpha. Be aware that as your rounds change, and this will matter more with your uh, half and half load, but as your charges change, um, they swap positions on the loading list. So if, you got to be careful. Yeah, that's it. Ten B, they're good. All right. Copy, oh. copy Alpha. Right. Did you uh? Yep. Uh, you're on Whisper Rust, I think. Increase 30 meters fire for effect. That is 10 meters. Okay. Okay. Yeah, increase 30 meters. Uh, send out two rounds. You're hanging. Are you playing with your mouse settings? No, I'm trying to get accurate with firing. <laughs> Loading charge one. Okay, so what I'm Hanging. what I'm seeing is keep you off the tube for anything other than suppression fire until you get the tube guy fixed. Cease fire, cease fire. The right, cease fire, cold. cease fire. Range is cold. Unpack I'm it. In. Yep, unloading it. Cease fire, cease fire, cease fire. Too cold. Alpha, cease fire, cease fire, cease fire. It's clear. That's a bummer. Hop off and I'll pick it up. Yep. Yes, it's right. Happy boy. And then uh, go reload your rounds, Gardner. Both uh, teams rally on me. I believe we should have sixteen. Uh, you should have 16 HE. So oh. proud of you, Gardner. You really showed that school. What's up? Uh, 60, 16 charge 1. Or 18 charge 1, and then like 6 charge 0. All the other kids better run, better run. Back Stop. Stop <laughs> running. <water. laughs> Don't think you can do that. Better run faster than this Philly cheese fart. Where's Gardner? Whoa, call back. Hmm? So how was the fire on that rust? I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of range time there. Uh, we're going to be moving on to the practice portion, where we'll have um, targets in sight and then targets in death laid. The targets in death laid will be marked on the map as TRPs. Uh, we'll have both teams try out each. Uh, these targets will be semi-realistic. Uh, obviously, you probably won't very often see a bob out in the middle of nowhere uh, or troops just walking down the road that you can easily engage with the mortar if you had the time. Uh, but these are semi-realistic live targets who will react realistically to being shot at with mortars. So I want you to treat it as if it was a combat scenario. Um, if you are... Um, Missing your shots consistently, it might be best to just swap to a whole different target uh, or displace. Uh, keep in mind, I will be looking at your guys' positionings. Uh, if you're in cover, if you're not in cover, uh, if your team leads just standing out there in the open like a jackass, just asking to get shot or um, that sort of thing. Uh, for your TRPs, work with uh, Sergeant Russ. He'll be on our squad net. Uh, he'll call out spottings for where those rounds are actually impacting, and um, you'll be able to make adjustments based off of your own judgment of, hey, if it landed uh, 50 meters east, I need to adjust uh, 50 mils left, or what have you. Make sense? Makes sense. Hey, firm. All right, go ahead and go to the practice, uh, or live fire practice. Alright, my fire practice.
All right, where's our setup area? In relative to this? The worst. And then Hodos, if you need me to walk you through how to set up waypoints, I can do that. Uh, yeah, just in case, because I've never really done that with this one. Okay. Well, uh, Alpha and Bravo, go get your position set up. Copy that. On me? On you. We're going to be pushing a on bit right. to the northwest. Where are you on There's a bit of flat ground here. Big uh, spot. Uh, ba, 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 ba. We could technically fire from up here and the machine guns would be like up there, but I'm trying to see some nice cover. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, over here. The Hesco's up here. Yeah, and, the, and the, behind the Hesco's over here, get, covers up from two positions and it's we're still within range. Throw down the mortar right there. You're going to be facing... Uh, wait one. Uh, Bravo on squad net. All right. Are we allowed to set up in the All right, we're going to be facing just, the just, northeast. Just to avoid punching up? For TRP-1. Facing northeast, about 650. Setting up. Copy that. This is Alpha. Advise when we're hot. Bravo, you're clear to set up wherever you need to. Alpha, you're hot. hot whenever you have your first target. Alpha copies. Alright, fire for, fire for effect. Uh, zero mil dispersion. Zero five nine eight mil. See if you can, can you get that range? Yeah, you should be able to. Okay. Um, range is eight zero three meters. One round HE. Fire when ready. Load and charge one. Hanging. Firing. This is Alpha round out on TRP one. Can we get eyes? Load and charge one. Hanging. No eyes. Uh, Wait, I'm rust. Yep. So what you had was the I, the UI number. Is that what you All right. Remember? I'm gonna move up to observe over this ridge here. Go ahead and repeat last. You copy me, Drip? Say again, left. Repeat last fire mission. Okay, fire you mission. should have a 152. Hop Repeat on 55. Five. Okay, uh, copy. If you are engaging the TRPs to the north. Yep. Cool. I was uh, waiting for us. And 55. Five. And we're going back to repeat last round or fire mission. Repeat last round. Gun one, signing on to five five. Over. Gun one, this is Romeo on five five. Reach you five by five. Running over. <laughs> Copy that, Romeo. Gun one is firing one times rounds HE at TRP one. Do you have eyes? Over. Did you send it? Romeo tally splash. Yeah, Romeo, this is gun one. Do we need to adjust fire? Over. Gun one, adjust fire. Ten MRADs left. Fire for effect. Gun one copies. Ten mils left. Fire for effect. Three rounds HE charge one. Fire when ready. Firing. Gun one copies. Loading Three round fire mission. HE. Over. Hanging. Loading charge one. Hanging. Rounds complete. Gun one, rounds complete. Charge one. And hang. Alright, we're going to be shifting to TRP2. Actually. Romeo, this is gun one. What's the BD on target? Over. 
Hey guys. Probably see better if you went up in that tower. I'm trying to. I'm yeah. I'm staying with the guys right now. Gun one copies zero out of one hundred. Uh, however, it fires in relative uh, relative to the target. Over. God, I gotta stop and pause. The target me. dispersion just needs to get lucky. Gun one copies. Send another three rounds. Uh, five zero mil dispersion. Uh, five zero mil dispersion. Same range. Uh, shoot. Firing. Loading charge point. Yes, shooting at us. Yep. Uh, where the fuck is that fire shooting coming from? Is it? Right yeah. Oh. Oh no, it's behind us. Yeah, it's behind us. The southeast. Be advised, we have a vehicle hitting us with uh, auto cannon fire southeast. Roger, I'd say that's a priority target then. Alpha copies shifting. Shift so that you're facing relatively southeast. I'm gonna try and get you a coordinate. Bravo, Woo! <laughs> Romeo, gun one, BDA 100 out of 100. About, uh, Vehicles are disabled. One. Gun one copies. Do you have eyes on whatever's firing at us to the southeast of uh, our position? 155. It is an auto cannon. 155? 155. Yeah, about 155, somewhere over there. Oh, eyes on. All right. Uh, fire for effect. Three rounds. Two, seven, eight, nine mils. Range is nine, eight, zero meters. Uh, three rounds AC. Charge one. Alpha has acquired target. Wait, one. Say again. Last range. Nine eight nine eight zero. Confirm nine eight zero two seven eight nine. Three round burst. Ready. Fire. Bravo. This is Alpha. Grid ref is as follows: two four zero five two zero one five for target. Over. This is Bravo, we copy, lining that in, and drop the fire on it. Advise, target is driving south fast. Target is moving on MSR. Copies, drop, target is moving. All right, stand by. Uh, I have no confidence in our ability to hit that. It's it's hauling ass. Yeah, it's, it's already at thirty four twenty one. It's it's coming. Three Romeo, gun two on five five. Be advised that vehicle is not going to be stopped by a mortar unless it hits a stopping point. Bearing is one nine three. There's also a guy behind the vehicle. Looks like a spotter or something. Did they dismount? No, but there's a guy up there just beyond the vehicle with binoculars. Looks like he's spotting. Copy. Wait, one. Stand by for new target. Oh, they is it is he staying still or is he with the infantry pushing up? No, he's behind the trees, but he was pushing up to the vehicle when it stopped. Copy. Where's the vehicle? Hold on. Let me see if I can spot it. Be advised. Gun two. You're, uh, you're destroyed. hitting near infantry. Dismounts. Say again? Yeah, the, the guy in the binoculars is just behind the vehicle to the uh, trees. Copy that. Copy that. Yep. Got his cold. You see him in the road now? Yeah, I got him. Alright. Uh, sh shift so that you're facing southwest. You're going to be fire for effect. Two rounds. Yep, shift it. Okay, hop on. Um, nope. Did it? That was a distraction. No, it's it's doing its thing again. Okay, one sec. Oh, okay, it's Alpha, it's doing opposite. So prioritize hitting the Bob just there we go. north of the MSR. Too cold. Let charge one. Alpha copies. Wait one. Shifting. Hey, we gotta Three shift bar. back again. We gotta shift back. Dismount. Realign. Bravo. Shift to TRP yep. two or three and work with. Uh, Romeo on 5-5. Five five. Cool. Hard to say again, huh? Bravo copy. Shift to TRP right. 2 or 3 and work with Romeo on 5-5. Five five. Um, this is Alpha. What is the TRP of the FOB? Over. FOB has no TRP. You need to just visualize it. Uh, just look south. You'll see it. 
Copy. You said north, correct? I said it's north of the MSR, but the MSR is to your south. Copy. I was looking at the northern MSR. Okay, lighting. Yep. Oh, now it's actually. Damn it. Man, that must be real. Uh, Thing, yeah. Romeo, radio check. Gun two on five five. There it this is. This is gun two. We are currently adjusting position and will be ready to take uh, instructions momentarily. Keep it hot. Stand by. Grab me knowledge. Standing by. All right. Fire for effect. Three zero four one mil. 910 meters, 4 rounds HE, I want a dispersion of uh, 25 mil, correction, 50 mil. Affirm, 50 mil? Five, yeah, a dispersion of 50 mil, and go ahead and get a, uh, a dispersion of range about 20 meters, if you can. Roger, 50 mil dispersion, approximate range 20 meters, 900 range. Yep. Zero, yep. Wait one. Four shoot. Rounds. Yeah. Shoot the ranging shot first, and then four follow on. I'm gonna. Ranging I'm gonna. Fired. Yep. This is gun one engaging the fob. Over. Roger, gun one. Right. Uh, you guys can go ahead. I thought I said one ranging and four. Oh. Yeah, I said uh, one ranging and four. I shifted fire. Romeo, this is Bobo requesting look coordinates of TRP zero zero three for a fire mission. Good effect on target. Fire for effect. Firing for effect. Ready to charge one. I am. Ready to charge one. I am. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why we're firing again. Two three eight one two zero. Three Romeo, gun two. Cordon says follow. Uh, two, three, eight, actual one. good effect on last target. Two three one nine. Two one. Correction. 231 yeah, Niner. 232. Any fire mission until one or both buildings are destroyed. 2381. Improper orders, my part. Correction. 231 Niner. 217 Niner. That wasn't good. Yep. One round for. Just a fire. My backpack right now. Yep. Alpha, I need you to find the enemy mortar pit like and destroy it. To confirm, you said two, three, one, nine. Okay. Alpha copies may have seven, already nine. have an idea. Over. This is correct. Stand by for fire mission. Be ready to fire quickly. The RP3 marker is accurate. One copy. You guys getting some good practice then? Yep. Alright. I just I was trying to mind craft it. Gun one. Fire for effect. Two rounds H E. Rain uh three one two five mil. Seven five zero meter. Fire is fire when you can. Fuck! <laughs> Got it out though. He's down. This is Alpha. We are lining it in. We'll be sending shot momentarily. Or Bravo. Range is uh range is seven seven five zero. Seven five zero, fire. You good kill one. Mortar damage, mortar damage. I cannot adjust range. Shit. This is gun one, mortar damage. I got legs. Food. All right, got you. Just like, let me ban it. Dismount it. Okay, dismount it. You. Unload it. Oh, you. Yep. I right, got you. Guard. That's how I unload it. Okay, good enough. Is it damage damaged? Uh, yeah. I, it, I can still uh, right, you're good. rotate it, but I cannot adjust elevation. I can. Okay, you are now the mortarman. All right, range is seven three zero, and then I'm gonna charge one. Uh, three one two five. Three one two five. One shot out. Round out. Round out.
You fired him? Yeah. It's not showing that you fired him. It's give me an unload option. Uh, unload. You should unload it and reload it. Bring you shot out. Please advise. Yeah, I can't even. Oh I can't no, I got like three rounds in this. Um, I do your fire mission. Load there we go. Oh yeah, you can uh, you can glitch load these and shit. It's crazy. Oh, oh, oh. god damn it. That was close. About 15 minutes behind us. I, I am injured. It's okay. Just more. bandage yourself. Long. Hanging. Bring it back. 30 meters. Right. 30 MRATs. Just for effect. My bloody boy. Back 30 meters. Right 30 mil rads. Adjust fire for effect. Roger. Loading charge one. Hanging. Uh, can anybody see what if that's if I'm hitting the target? Hanging. What are you aiming for? I'm gonna look. Uh, two three seven two three seven three two zero three two. It's right out there in the field. Fire mission inbound. Five rounds. Here, I'm gonna get out. You guys hop on. I'm gonna tell them. To, I'm gonna tell them where to spot. Left thirty. Left thirty. Left thirty. Left thirty. Left thirty. Uh, three one two five mil. So you're gonna be wanting. Uh, Ooh, that was on point. That last shot was on point. Scratch that. It looks like they got hit. Uh, looks like they need to raise more. I'd say raise 20 or something like yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Three, one, two, five. Raise 20 meters. So. Uh, seven. Uh, seven, five, five, five zero. Please. Advise BDA. Confirmed. Confirmed. Charge one. Ah! Ah, uh, we're hit again. Kill one's down. I'm up. Yeah. He's back. We have a generous god. Oh my oh, goodness. Alright, alright. All right. Uh, unload, dismount. We're going to be shifting locations up to that tower. Real meal. BDA is followed. Get you, Gardner. Whoa. 10 out okay, of 100. You, you have a armed vehicle oh. heading towards your position. Get your Bring the loading of SAR. Okay, you're good. Uh, once you get that dealt with, I need you enough. to um, adjust. I really since no one's that, uh, okay. Your... We can change that. Oh boy. Reduce 50 meters. That sounds like a threat. Copy arm vehicle approaching. Once that's dealt with, Incoming. drop 50 meters oh boy. and then fire again. I'm moving into this. No, I'm not. <laughs> there we go. Hi. You have oh, three wow. casualties. Everyone's down. down. Apollo, I have a mass cas on Alpha's position over. Roger, have you relayed on 6-2? Yeah. Second. It's kind of uh, insane that these mortars are still going in. I wonder if it's because it's just the AI being, being AI. Hey, I need you to get Gardner over here. It was a kind of one where if I had a Maws, I probably would have popped a Maws shot at him. They were indefinitely, but not by much. This is going to be advised. We're getting hit by those mortars. We're going to have to adjust position. And then when you're done bandaging, you Let me know when you're set back up. Yeah, Kilborn done over there too. I don't know if you saw him. I'll go check the Reaper. Or Kilborn. Yeah, there is my heart. Gardner's out of good. Okay, cool. Checking for a pulse on Gardner. When you're done bandaging them, get a CPR on them, please. Yep. Well, I kind of caused a mass cast, and then uh, the other team also got hit, uh, but they're not all. They're not down. We're good. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Good job, guys. <laughs> well, it was intentional. Oh, I know. No pulse on Gardner. Doing CPR. Okay. No pulse on Draper. Fighting for Joe. Okay. You got an AED? AED? No, I don't have AEDs. Only platoon core are carrying them. Oh, damn. That's oh, that's sucks. sick as fuck, though, that we get AEDs, man. I wonder if the truck's good. No heart rate. Hello, Anything else shot. fancy that you're using? Uh, TXA. It's really cool. The hell is that? It automat- it has a- it gives like a- it's supposed to encourage Forming blood clots in the wound, so there's a chance wounds will bandage themselves. Word. Here, hold up. So once these guys are stable, do you have smelling salts to get them up faster? 
Oh shit, there's a vehicle near here, so I can use AED. Here, I'm gonna use AED on Dre for stand back. Oh yeah, I am for the fuck boys, baby. Still no pulse on Gardner. Alright, I'll come over there and AED him. <laughs> that was sick as fuck. Yeah. Bravo. Oh, I can't, AED, I can't AED Gardner. Hold on, it's because I was still Draper. doing CPR. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I still can't AED you have? him. you have blood on you? Okay, nice. Can we move? I like to move Draper. Can you go uh, get killed one for me? Yeah, I'm going to start CPR. Okay. Where's a good spot here, Tage? Oh, I'm uh, dead. Along the They're not going to save me. Okay. Oh, he's at fatal. Yeah, I, I have a thousand pushing him right now. In his chest? Oh, through yeah. the fast arrow? Nice. Yeah. The thing's oh, so that's helpful. super nice. Uh, still no pulse on Kilborn. Oh, okay. I didn't want to give him Done. saline. Callan, Doing I'm going to steal 500 out of your bag if you've got, you got it in you. there. Yeah. Do you have an IV? I don't. Do you have one? Uh, yeah, there should be one in there. Yeah. Unless, if he has, if he, if all his tourniquets are, uh, if all his limbs are tourniquet, grab the fast IO. They're not. He still has his arm good. Okay, okay. This is gun two. We are set up in a new position, ready to I'm up. fire mission. Oh, can I not do this? Come on, Gardner, get up. Back gun two. I don't know why you guys didn't move people into here. This is a nice hardcover. It's it's why I died near here. I was coming in this direction. Gun two, request fire mission at TRP three. Break. Do your measurements. So we don't have to worry about getting fired. Okay, I was picking him up to heaven, but Roger. Yeah, move fire on. mission on TRP three. We'll be firing Gardner, two rounds for adjustment. We'll be firing as soon as we finish getting the Drop him inside. I will put your IV and fluids in the back. Bad. Thank you. Okay, that was not your backpack. Where are you going? I'm right here. Oh, well, yes. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to go with No, 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 no. <sighs> Never mind, the Zeus is back to shelling us again. I just wanted to make sure I was breathing for this. Go, come on, go. Get out of the fucking doorway. Love you, Kilburn. Bye, Hill. So He's out of the clubhouse. Lob, lob that rocket. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, actually. <laughs> oh, shit. I see the pulse. What does it mean? This is gun two. Two rounds out for adjustment. What the f- Oh my god, I forgot this thing is a piece of shit. Yeah. Romeo, gun two, adjustment as follows. Drop 50. Sorry, I just used two again. Send one for adjustment. Gun two copies, drop 50, send one for adjustment. Oh, one shot out, there? holding for Yeah, I'm good. I'm alive. I'm not dead yet. No, no, no! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, you're good. All right, you got the tube. All right, what's going on? I got Push out to that tower. Push out to the tower. Go, 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 go. Gardner, take off all your trinkets before you pass out. I have trinkets on. Yeah, we'll oh god. Stop. The second you get to flat land, throw it down facing south. Romeo, gun two, just been as follows. Just left. Fifty M rads. Yep, yep. There you go. Get in the get in, get in that Hesco area. Gun two copies. I just left. 50 mil, Drop. Fire you, guys, you guys are gonna be my lab rats. I want to see if keeping IVs and people actually does anything. All right. You pulled. Yep. Three one eight two mils. Zero. Uh, actually three zero mil dispersion. Five rounds. Uh, eight. Eight three four meters. Thank you, Say again, dispersion. Uh, five zero mils.
Five zero mills dispersion. Number of rounds. Uh, send one. I'm gonna go try and get eyes on it, and then uh, I'll adjust from there. Roger. Cold. Am I hanging? Yeah, you're hanging. Fire mission complete. Right. Holding for BDA. Right away. How many rounds you got left, uh, Garner? Just enough for this fire mission. Copy that. Alright, we'll go ahead and start wrapping things up and meet back at the teleporter pole. Alpha, continue your fire mission. Good fire for effect. Repeat fire mission. I want you to burn those fucking rounds. Romeo, gun two, BDA as follows. BDA 70 out of 100, on target, still some guys going around. Uh, let's get a new target. Uh, Romeo, hold on new target. We'll be told to finish up and head back to the teleport pole. Good news, everybody, you fucked their map. Understood. Craft complete, would you like another? Correct. Uh, drop it about five meters. So basically, just a quick tap. Gardner, I'm gonna be Four. chucking my charges in your backpack. I charge one. Not anymore. Would you charge one? Nope. Yep, you got him. Thank you. I almost made noopsie. Uh, we're being taken care of by the corpsman. Once you're done, we'll be back at the teleport pole. Second mission complete. Copy that. Romeo, this is gun one. Uh, we have the mortar pit to the south. It's just northwest of the fob. Can you get eyes on? Over. Target is destroyed. Go ahead and uh, regroup with Tej. This is gun one packing up target destroyed. <laughs> Roger, gun one. Fuck him, Tej. Fuck him. <laughs> All right. Uh, Cart, can you give us a box or people can resupply? By the way, was that one mortar, just one stubborn guy left on there? No, there was all three of them left on there. Really? You guys, you guys came really close, but you were uh, you just need to adjust like probably like five mils. Well, we that's where we could have used Romeo for because from where I was looking, I could not tell if it needed adjustment or not. We were bang on from where I was looking. South southwest, yeah, I couldn't see that from where I was. Yeah. Like, oh, you don't have a drone? Us. That's right. On you. No, if I had a drone, we could work with it a little bit more. I'm starting to get the hang of it a little bit. Um. That's Just fine. Need more practice. That's fine. It works. All right, go ahead and resupply. While I'm giving the brief, uh, Bravo needs to get over here. Bravo, wrap things up. Get over here now. Bravo's good. We're actually, I'm over. just gonna re I'm just gonna reload my kit. Oh fuck. Because I was actually able to uh with Bravo's last idea. Oh wait, no, I can't. Don't don't reload your kit. You can't. Well. I, okay, I can only reload my charges because we don't have a four. We our arsenal boxes are not fixed yet. God damn it! I can't pick up charges from the arsenal now. What the fuck? Damn it, Luke! <laughs> what that it's my fault. Uh, can you drop a full arsenal? It's always a goddamn fault. Shut up. Hey, Otis. Yeah. I have to go and deal with something. Oh, but, uh, it's been fun. Oh, okay. Thank if you're you. in it, just exit it and yeah. go back in. Thank you, Tej. Thank you, Cart. Because with that last mission, I was actually able to get it on target on the, the town. Hell? It's just that the dispersion, uh, the fuckers are hiding behind buildings. Does this but, stuff but, have I would uh, say 70 out of 100. Repeat. Does this arsenal have this? Uh, By the way, I was reminded of how fucked this arsenal, uh, uh, our laws are. Oh, I didn't, it doesn't have yes. the pharmacy stuff in it. No, this this isn't a full exit arsenal yet. It. It's not. It should be. Let me try it again. Yeah, it's not in there. Just throw us a little uh, fucking ghetto NATO box. I say ghetto, but it's more advanced than what we carry. You'll know me. Straight OG. 
There we go. Thank you, Dad. Armed, uh, Thank you. For this next uh, portion, this is your run. Um, if you want to reference your map, AO whack -a -mole, off to the west, your starting point is marked. Your uh, AO bounds are marked. Somewhere within this AO is a uh, Russian Special Forces um, outpost. Oh, we're slash, dead. Uh, LPOP, as well as a depot that is um, right now their temporary HQ, uh, as well as their um, forward artillery position. And mission. no drone. Yep, no, no drone. Our mission is to get in there, destroy their um, artillery capabilities along with any other IDF capabilities. Uh, do not get into a prolonged engagement with them because their reaction time is swift because uh, they are uh, very good at remaining mobile. Uh, they're never anywhere longer than uh, 24 hours and um, our intel is saying that they move around basically every 12 hours. Why so, doesn't the, f the full arsenal doesn't have radios, by the way? Or at least it doesn't have 152s. Don't expect or expect a QRF reaction time of uh, under five minutes. Um, oh yeah, it is. Don't, don't expect any um, super strong uh, permanent shelter for them to use, uh, but they are going to use the terrain to their advantage. Um, I believe uh, this site was a site of a lot of battles back in uh, the 60s and obviously the 40s during World War Two. So there may be some. There may be some old military structures that they might uh, be using as a shelter of opportunity, that sort of thing. Uh, if you find any of those, obviously, we're probably not going to be able to dislodge them from there because uh, they will be pretty hardened. Uh, but there's not very many of those left around town, so um, don't expect a lot of them. Um, your mortars are going to be your best friend here. Uh, if you can either laze the target and then get to a better position to engage from, uh, that's going to be your best bet. Otherwise, um, if you can approximate the location based off of visual or um, guesstimation off of your map, you can um, engage that way if you know how to use your map tools. There are some uh, areas of interest, mostly peaks, that have been already marked out. Uh, you can check those out at your discretion. But our mission is to get in there, find that HQ, destroy their artillery or any other IDF capabilities, and get out. Uh, you're going to get out the same way you infilled, so go back to your start point. There will be two vehicles still waiting for you there. You can use those vehicles to exfil the area. If you are being chased, we might not call index and just let them keep chasing you until you get to somewhere safe. Or we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> or you're dead. One of these is more likely Probably than the, the other. Ladder. Uh for enemy patrols, since there will be patrols, expect that uh, they're going to be small but very heavily armed uh, and armored uh, and very well trained. So uh, do not get into extended fights with them. Your best bet is going to be to uh, engage them with overwhelming fire and then break contact. Any other questions? All right, last bit of thing. Uh, Corporal Kilborn will be taking control of the squad while I'll be taking control of his team. I will be uh, in charge of Alpha while he is in charge of the squad. Yay! <laughs> I don't. It's an unwanted promotion. All right, Sir Kilborn. All right, you guys got everything equipped, ready to go? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All okay. right, go ahead and head out. Just teleport you st uh, straight to it, correct? Uh, that's Thanks. the practical application. Okay, everybody go. go. Where do you want me filling in with this? Oh. And as you said, uh, is Russ not acting as the uh, Romeo? Tej, is Russ yep. not acting as Romeo, or did we have somebody else fill in? Uh, Russ is acting as Romeo without a drone. Okay, so he's just a spotter. It's been shot down by the Spetsnaz fucks, and we're here to right, kill so you're him. Alright, so just, you're just the fact. <laughs> I gotta strike yeah. back on Bitches. you. But ghillie suit and get, grab a fucking DMR. Killborn, <laughs> shack tech on uh, Callahan. 
Copy that. Hey, Callum, man. Come here. I'm going to molest you. Let me see that booty. Sure. There we go. All right. I like that. And, uh... Oh, here. Let me That's take... Get off five now. Just Come later. There we go. All right. Uh, which... Right. So, the tallest hill at 312 is in the back. Say again? I'm then, you on 510 either. I said the hill, 312? Yeah. In the back, uh, grid 041, 194. Maybe set up there, try to get observation. You could probably at least see 1256, 249, 274, 274. Copy that. I want to go to Hill Kira. Or Tip gear over to the south, uh, north first. Try and get preliminary eye, see if anything else yeah. stands on any of the other peaks before we begin movement, and then we'll push down through the valley. Oh so, uh, all right. one. After that, we'll go ahead and push yeah, through. Four zero. Uh, yeah, actually, we'll just go to ORP one and then decide from there. But we'll be moving through the other tips. All right. Squad, go ahead and mount up. Alpha, I want you in the Western Vic. Bravo, go ahead and take the Northern Vic. Hey, Kilburn, the intent was to do this dismounted. These vehicles oh, right, are these. Extract, okay, you're right, for... right. All right, well, I mean, the plan doesn't really change much anyways. Okay, so we're going to be pushing up to ORP-1, which is the hill over to our north. Get initial eyes, scan the other peaks, see if there's anything of interest. If there's nothing there, we're going to go and push downhill over to the northwest uh get to the next peak scan around check the valleys see if anything stands out on these we're not going to be following the ridge line and cresting if we can avoid it uh that's a no-no zone they have artillery if we get spotted they're gonna get the drop on us and it's gonna fucking suck so stay low don't skyline yourself uh keep the mountains to your back and you know behave we'll keep eyes out for anything of interest got it roger alpha will take point Go ahead. Turner, take us out to that hilltop. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... There we go. As an addendum, fire team leaders, you have your Andro or galaxies, correct? Hey, Tej, if you said anything, I didn't hear you. <laughs> Hodos, do you have your galaxy? Is if you have your galaxy, then if you guys spot any targets and you get good refs from them, make sure to send messages to each other. Relay that back and forth. That way we can share it. Alternatively, you can, you can that, designate yeah. somebody to drop a TRP on the map. <laughs> uh, Tage, go ahead and pick another radio, man. I can't hear you on 5-9 for some reason. Yeah, nope, still nothing. Probably. Uh, Hodos, do you got it? All right, wait. One. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop my radios. Are we having that radio problem again? You know it. You. Know it. you? <laughs> I can hear them okay. Yep. Check five nine. Apparently five nine. Copy. Got you both. Yay. <laughs> Sorry, you are clipped through the hill. Contact front. Contact front up on the crest of the hill, 50 meters, close. One hostile at the top of the hill, spotted, possibly more. Alpha, lay down suppressive fire, Bravo, push up that ridge line. Recommend coming in on a flank. Uh, 
this is probably we're going around on the left side to see if we can pinch him. Hey Callahan. What's up? Do you guys have a discrete net? A discrete net? What do you mean? Uh okay then. Uh discrete net will be sixteen, just you and me. But Check 16. Hold on, let me hop on. What's the uh, key bond for the third radio? Uh, I don't know. It depends on what you have. It, I have it set completely different. Weird. You're going to need it, though, if you ever go to platoon. Radio check uh, 16. Negative. Oh, are you on the 343? Three, yeah, I'm on the 343. Three. Oh, I only have one. Now. Oh, okay, then. Fuck it. This is actual Sagan last. We have a bunker at this look at the top of the hill. We're clearing it now. Copy that. Uh, so, uh, Bravo, go ahead. Or, uh, correction. Alpha, move past. Get eyes on the next peaks. Over. Alpha copies. Bunker is clear. Setting up. All right, Hodos, so don't set up. They just heard gunshots from here. They heard explosions. I... If yeah. When I said setting up, okay. I mean setting up. Uh, uh, setting defenses. I get you. Yeah. What you got, Rust? Over there. Uh, wait one. Getting my view distance up. Uh, eyes on. Eyes on. Uh. Out of range. Eighteen hundred. Copy. I'm getting it right now. We have a fob and bunker location to our northwest. Range is uh, 1,700. It's out of range. We're going to have to be moving to the next peak. Still burn. Over here as well. Where? Wait, wait one, Russ. I'm, uh, need a, we need to put a marker on that. reason my seat tabs don't work and I can't place right. markers down. From here, that is bearing 341 for 800. Uh, Alt-H. Uh, three, four, one for, for, for 1800. That is, yep, that's uh, over here. Gilborn, are you using your 5152? Actual Alpha, eyes on enemy encampment, 005, range 863. Copy that, 005, 863. Say again, three times hostiles inside, over. Copy that, looks like an encampment. Eyes on a set of military tents with personnel inside. 041. 006, current position. Nine two zero meters out. Zero four one seven one nine four two. Zero one four seven. All right, wait one. Can't click fucking timestamps. God damn it. This is Bravo. Did you receive my message by uh, Android of the grid coordinates? Yeah, I got it. Wait one.
Reference Bunker Mark 1041 Northwest. Alpha is on. Two three one nine two one seven nine. Big car is on. What's up? Yeah, are you sure that's correct, Hodos? Actual, this is Alpha. Advise we don't linger here any longer than we already have over. Copy that. Uh, make sure, men, that you record your, mark your shit on the map. Just use an Orbat. We can double it in with the, uh, break. We can put it in with the micro dagger later. Just, uh, put the marks on the map and move. Actual, this is Alpha 110's fire team spotted to our northwest, bearing 348. Uh, range 1800 meters out, moving westbound, over. Copy that. Northwest, moving westbound. Uh, are they in the tree line? Over. Second fire team spotted, bearing 009. Same activity, over. Copy that. Pull out southeast, and then we'll swing north over the next hill. How copy? They kill boy. Uh, 152. Um? Yeah, I carry a 152. Are you using it right now? It is uh, it is on 5-5 five five to coordinate with Romeo if needed and listen in. Alright. Got you. Vehicle audio, I believe. Skyline. Alright, get low. We're going to push down to this next little plateau and swing north. Push down to the next relatively flat area. Uh, swing north. Uh, correction, northeast. My intent is to keep the mountain and hills between us and known contact positions. Alright, we're swinging around this hill basically, but staying more towards the base. Uh, swinging north around this hill. the fuck? Uh, reference map, we're going to be moving to RP1, the next hill over to the northeast. Audio south. Uh, correction, it's a plane flying overhead. South to north. Uh, Search for trees. Try and stick to the tree line. We need to stay out of that line instead of in case that was a recon plane. All right, push hard northeast. Move uphill. We're getting to the next trees. Where the fuck is my compass? The fuck? All right, push north, push north, push north. HU's gonna hold defensive until Alpha catches up. No, it's on 5-5. Five 5-5, five. Five five, okay. Where the fuck are those teams at? There they are. Do you read on 5-9? Hey, are you guys hearing me on 5-9 at all? Yeah. Alright, I'm not getting any goddamn read back.
Negative, negative. It's fucked again. I think it's these hills. Every time we get near hills in this goddamn game, our radios break. Good check, five nine. Uh, swing hard north. To, we're gonna move through the trees to get to the RP. Reference GPS, roughly. Hey, Romeo, you're at the tip of this beam. Yeah, don't be there. Radio, oh, yeah, radio gun five five. My bad, my bad. Good check, five five. Fuck, yeah, my radios Sorry. are completely fucked yeah. again. Equipment. So are you guys uh, hearing each other on 5-9? Yeah, we're hearing each other on 5-9. I heard you on 5-5. Five five. Yeah, no, I'm transmitting. I'm not receiving it. It's the same thing that happened the other night. Hold on. Radio check 5-5. Five five. Now I got it. To be fair, it is also the same area. Yeah, we probably shouldn't have come up to these goddamn hills. They always break the radios. Or at least my radios. Cresting. Yep. Stay low, stay low. As soon as you crest, try and get a, to low ground so that your uh, silhouette is against the mountain. Hey, does anybody else notice that their uh, compass isn't on the map anymore? No, it's still there. Mine isn't. It fucking disappeared. Do you not have one in your tent? Yeah, no, I have one. Uh, could be that it somehow got moved this side off the map. Yeah, try scrolling out. Yeah. No, I did. It's non-existent. There's also some way to hide it or whatever. Yeah. Do you, like, self-interact. Ah. Uh. Or interact or something on the map. Yeah, I have high GPS. I don't have compass. Fuck it. I'll, I'll play with it later. Hold up. That's weird. All right, did anybody um, mark the location of that other small encampment? I sent you the coordinates for one of them. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I see a new one. Uh, 04515. 04515, yep, 18145. Yeah, is, is it the one I marked on map? Yep, encampment at 1041. Yep, I, I'll put it on my... Uh, I don't think any of us are going through them. No. Nope. Fire team, northeast or northwest, bearing 319, bridge line. Trying to stay there. Yep. Fire team, crested, northwest. Light them up. They're engaging. Cross. One in the rocks. Alpha engaged. One of fire team, northwest. Uh, one remaining in the rocks, just east of the two dead bodies crested. Can I change my two. goddamn settings? Smoke 313. Ah, fuck it, I'll change it later. You good, Tage? I think you just yeah, got yeah. hit. Okay, yeah, you're good. Oh, oh, oh. You're out, bandit. You're out, bandit. Alpha you're out suppressing bandit. Bravo, I want you moving up the tree line to flank. Gardner's down. I got him. Gardner's down. Where the fuck is that next bit of contact? Being worked on by Apollo. Did Bravo copy my last? Fuck it, put a charge one up there. Where are the goddamn My bad, Russ. Am I in your way? Draper, come over here. Maybe. Get in the building. Get your tube set up. Wait, wait, I'm gonna reload my goddamn team speak, see if that fixes it. Facing northwest. Facing northwest. Placing. Oh, shit. 
Shit, I got the AED on me. Hey, watch out, right side. Use, uh... Chick Chick 5 9. We'll use bearing 322. Two. Loading charge zero. Range yep. it for 400. Just range it for the max for charge zero. 322, max range. Where's that fire coming from? Rocks bearing uh, MRAD Hi, 703. Just like 250 is what it's at. The range okay. is 250. Yeah, MRAD 57. Uh, do, um. And 300. Yep. That one doesn't look like it was too far off. Nope. Oh, one. Nope. Yeah, one died. Might have been Bravo. To 350. Yep. Fire right, one ready. All right. All right. Get off. Is Bravo okay? Bravo still moving. Oh. Back up. Bravo, round out. All right, push. All right, we're pushing. Yeah, pack it up. Welcome back, Arthur. Draper, are you coming? Mm. Yep. Once that enemy infantry is dead, we're gonna move up to the next bit of flat ground and hit TRP2. I'll give you the uh, coordinates. It's the enemy encampment closer to our northwest. Dude, this is fucking hell without radios. Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't have picked this area. I mean, are you guys having any of the trouble I am, though? That's the thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm having issues hearing some people on uh, squad net. Well, I'm going to have... Harrison was wanting an RPT for this kind of shit, and this is exactly what he wants. This is why I want to go to TFAR. TFAR never has issues in this area. Although, if we had the acre settings, not nearly as anal about it. Second last... We are approaching the last known position the enemy forces. Rocks to the right. Copy that. Do you have eyes on that enemy encampment over to our west? Negative, no eyes. Alright, uh, I want one gun, um, Bravo, go ahead and set up. Alpha, I want you to provide them security. Right. Rust, I want you to push up to that, closer to that ridge and try and get eyes on the encampment. It's only about 400 meters out. Roger, which, uh, location will you aim toward? Uh, go ahead and get behind the hard cover, behind us. It's, it's within okay. range, it's 400 meters out, so we're safe. Well, no, I, I just need to know which direction we need to be aiming toward. Uh, okay, you're gonna be aiming towards, see that enemy encampment? On the map? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to be hitting. West. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. If, by the way, hold us. In case you didn't know, if you open up your, uh, if you open up your micro dagger, go to the map and de and desync it like you're going to move around the map. Um, you can scroll in wherever and double click and it'll drop a waypoint there. Oh, okay. Romeo, you read on 5-5? Five -five? on 5-5. Five -five. Send message. Copy. Just uh, stand by for the rounds. Over. Stand by. Did one of you guys just ND, or was that a double tap? Double tap. Copy. Unless that was necessary, you might have just given, us, given our position away. Zero zero five range. Uh, contact zero zero five. Be advised, we have contact zero zero five north of our range position. Range five hundred out, moving southwest bound along the crest line. You can't hear that on the radio, can you? Yeah, I can. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, gun two, reorient to that target. Over. Gun two copies, reorient to zero zero five north. Last call target is in deflate now. Yep, copy. Be advised that target is in defilade. It'll be 
just bombard past the where that ridge is. Anywhere within 100 meters is going to scatter them. Tej, any chance we can get your gun up to hit that encampment real quick? Yeah. Uh, encampment to our west? Solid copy. Roger. All right, um, Draper, go ahead and get the tube set up facing west. Make that piece of train with some cover here. Do you, do you need That's the grid coordinates for it? Back. Uh, uh, negative, Romeo. I'm going to pop uh, a couple rounds out the... from Alpha Tube. Say again? I'll just use my... Thanks. Yeah, yeah, just double-click on it. Got it. Got much flat terrain here. No. But honestly, we, we were firing on that other target on the slope, remember? A tube right here. What is going on, Bravo? Uh, I realized that if we fired yeah, where we were, we were going to hit oh. that tree right there. Romeo, what's status? Fast. Yeah, hanging in the fire mission. Second last, over. Yeah, compromise, pulling back east. Solid copy. Yeah, you want to load a charge one, Gardner? Yeah, loading. All right. Your Bravo, if you're not ready, then pull off for security. Roger, cancel fire mission. Yeah, Romeo took contact over to the west. He's falling back our way. We need to set up a defensive. Fire one ready. Romeo, do you have any eyes on the target? Over. We're going to fire two and adjust for an effect. Oh, the second one, fire another. You? Romeo has eyes on the target. Send it. Copy, rounds out for adjustment. Two rounds out. Stillborn, two rounds out on fucking encampment. Do Copy. Do anybody spotting? Yeah, I got Romeo up there. He managed to fall back. Romeo, status? Pretty close to you guys. You got contacts up the hill to the west. Copy that. Contacts up the hill to the west. Romeo, what's the feedback on the fire? Do you have any? Engaging up top. Be advised, Miller's hit. Second, Romeo. Actually, Alpha, you want us to finish that fire mission or pack up? I got it. Wait, one getting a quick response from Romeo. By the way, Callan, I'm hearing myself. Romeo, radio. contact Dentless. Trying to get eyes on the splashes. Copy that. Do you need another round? Be another round. Alpha, go ahead and send out one more round. Round out. Murphy, you up? Murphy down. You're, you're on Whisper Hodos. I was on the radio. Oh, okay. Romeo, just fire as follows. Drop 50 right 5 MRADs. Fire for effect. This is actual drop 50, uh, shift right 5, fire for effect. Copy that, Romeo. Relayed. Round should be going out shortly. I'm going to move Miller back to Alpha. Copy that. Hostile MG to our 276 down. Is that, that's enemy mortar. Be advised, enemy mortar. Fire and shift. That sounded like it was... BDA 100 out of 100. Let's get out of here. 100 out on 100. Pack it up and move. Roger, Alpha Pack. Ready to move. Copy that. Just push up to the tree line to the west. We'll regroup there. Be advised, we have contacts to the west. Oh, I see him. Bravo, set up defensive west. Wait for Alpha. Bravo, copy, set up defensive west. Wait for Alpha. Alpha has eyes on contact west 264 in the woods. He's down. Yep, copy. Moving. Don't 
Alpha, set at the base of the tree line, set up, let Bravo catch up. Alpha copies over. This is Bravo. One of our guys is completely unconscious. He's not waking up for some reason. Copy that, Bravo. Uh, stabilize him best you can. Pick him up. Move him to the tree line. We have rocks and cover over here. Top of the best mag. Bravo copy. Stabilize as best we can. Then move with them. All right. Uh, Alpha, just hold here until Bravo can bring their casualty up into a more defensible position. Because that is hell. Uh, I think those mortar rounds I was hearing, because I was hearing shots, might be coming from the north. Wherever those guys are moving. Not 100%, though. So direct north, maybe 256. Yeah, I'm thinking over the ridge line. So once we get uh, people up and moving, we're going to push up the hill north, get a peek over, see if we can spot anything. Roger. And all else fails, we got to move closer to that bunker, that large encampment on the tip. Roger. Bravo, what's your status of casualty? He's back up. We are ready to move. Copy that. Fall back into me. Alpha, go ahead and take point once Bravo's caught up. We're going to push up north, uh, get a peek past that ridge. All right, Evan, or Gardner, orientate north. We're not moving out yet. Uh, once Bravo gets here, we'll move out. Let's yeah, just already get our ha formation set up. Uh, I saw that rust. Yep. Hey, just oh, no that's damage. a crack. That's Incoming. a crack. To the Incoming. Northwest. northwest, copy. Rounds coming in I northwest. Move. Move, move, move. Move north. Stay in the tree line. Yeah, we got we got out of the fucking position. We fired and moved. As you get closer to the tip, remember, do not skyline. Try and maintain a uh, uh, stealth as much as you can. I was trying to su oh surprise is the word I was thinking of. Words are hard. Yeah, they are. Especially when you got two steps ahead in your brain. Is that coming from the encampment over there? Sounds like it. All right. Full 30. That's putting it up there pretty damn high. Okay. Push northeast on the ridge, uh, just behind it, 200 meters. Then I want to throw down a base and fire at that uh, large encampment. That is where the mortar rounds are coming from. Roger. They're obviously spotting us from somewhere. We gotta find that spotter. Yeah, uh, it might be those guys that were going west. They should be right along the ridge here. What's up? Actual, this is Alpha. We have an encampment just toward northeast. Uh, zero one eight. I, I have eyes. Bon okay, uh, set up in Babard. You have a rock. Oh, they're, they're engaged. Okay, never. Uh, don't even try and fire back. We don't have a machine gun to suppress. Bombard and maintain security. Okay, are you facing two zero? Facing one eight. Okay. Going toward zero. Uh, yep. Go ahead and Thank fire you. at two hundred meters. Roger, two hundred meters. Firing. Loading charge zero. Gardner, okay. what the fuck was that? Okay. At I got teleported in the middle five. of it. That. that was weird. Fire one ready. Firing. Loading. Charge zero. Hanging. I'm back. Bravo, go ahead and shift east. See if you can get a little bit of a flank in case uh, we don't destroy everything. Bravo, copy. Shift east. See if we can get a good shot. Repeat. Alright, Tej. I'm sending Bravo to yep. flank and push in for any stragglers and get a, make sure that you're hitting it dead on.
Another fire team? Fire team 016, 600 meters. We have a fire team 016, 600 meters out. What's its relation to the camp? Camp, uh, shit. Is it past it? Yeah, it's past it. Uh, do you see where the uh, three trees are in the rocks? They're moving along the ridge line left or right. Uh, bearing 018 for 490 now. Copy that. Uh, check those rocks to the northeast of what you were just engaging. There's an enemy fire team moving along that ridge. 020 for on, on, we're just 400 now. there. Solid copy. We'll try and pin them. Uh, find some yeah, hard cover. Yeah, this thing get close. Get as much hard cover as you can, boys. What was that? That was inbound. On top of Bravo's alpha position. Alpha status? Alpha's good to go. Copy that. Go ahead and shift position. I think we got him. Bravo is approaching that, uh, that fob in the center. Copy that, Bravo. We'll get up and help you set up security. The second we get near there, I want you to, uh, actually on this little, uh, uh, saddle in between these two. I want you to throw up your uh, tube and hit that encampment. Ah! I'm trying to think of terrain features and fuck it. Copy that, copy that. Just keep pushing. We'll, we'll keep eyes on it. Yep, there's more. Say again, Bravo. Is it the encampment direct front that the smoke cloud's coming from? Negative. It's the large encampment over to the northwest. It's huge. It has a bunker in it. Roger. Oh, I... Copy. I believe that's where the artillery is coming from. We also believe we have a spotter to our rear. Uh, Alpha will try and get him. All right, Alpha, keep eyes to the rear. He's going to have to crest if he's going to spot. Roger. Tips and sides. Hey, Gardner, shift more northwest. Uh, we're, yeah, we're drifting a little far from Bravo. Crossing. Bravo status. Bravo is setting up, lining in the hostile bunkers. Copy that. Be advised, you may not have time to shift. They're pretty hot. So uh, dump three rounds, move, and if we have to do it again, we'll do it. Bravo copies. Be advised, I think it might be that plane. Alright, past this, I want us to push northwest and close in a bit. We're uh, skirting pretty far out. Actual, this is Alpha. Bunker is within range of Alpha's mortars if you want us to hit it. Copy that, Alpha. Go ahead. Bravo, pop your shots and move. Bravo has fired three shots, one at the 
bunkers we can see. Copy that, you were a bit off target. Roger, they fell way shorter than even with the added 50. Yeah, Bravo, you're about 71 meters short from the bunker. Should we do another quick fire mission or move? Negative. Move, move, move. Move, move. They already zeroed in on you. Those shots are going for you. Moving. Keep in mind, Bravo, you are in visual range. You should have uh, hit the defilade. Good kill more than that one. Yep, okay, yep. kind of close. Yep. Bravo, I want you to follow the rough phase line pushing around the hill to the uh, northeast into the tree line. Copy that, Bravo. In that case, just shift about 100 meters northeast of Alpha and uh, set up your tube. We'll treat your casualty. Loading. Roger. So yeah, Hodos, just uh, stay here and deflate. We can relay. We got spotters, and they're already hammering them. So you're just a follow on. Okay. Who, who do you got wounded? Uh, it's just Murphy. Uh, he just needs a stitch. Hodos needs it too. Oh, Hodos needs something too. I got you. Yep. Getting his arm. Got you. I don't know there you go. Are we chilling here? Uh, elevation. Actual alpha fire mission complete on bunker over. Copy that alpha. We'll go ahead and uh, actually Bravo cancel your mission. We'll go ahead and push uh, northwest into the trees. Uh, wait. At best, it's uh, thirty out of hundred. We had some effect, but not a lot. Copy that. Um, push. Uh, follow the original path. Go around the mountain. We'll be pushing to break. Pushing to hell, 256 over to the north. When we get to the next tailtop, stay in deflate of the target. I want both guns set up, raining three rounds each. Bravo copies once we're at the next location set up behind deflate. Copy. I'm also going to want a dispersion of two five mils. Copy Look at Romeo at the tip of the spear again. Hey, this is what he does. Those targets ain't gonna spot themselves, including fucking foot mobiles. I'm just a riffman with extra gadgets. <laughs> You're just a point man with extra stuff. <laughs> I have so much shit, it's not even Dude, fun. honestly though, you were a good warning, because they engaged you and we knew something was fucky. Well, it's because I got too close to the camp. And then I just decided to pop a Hunt IR. Actual Alpha, we have rough loss, like, we can use for the mort mortar pits coming up. Today. I don't have my Copy that, utilize this. I do have the Hunt IR. So yeah. I guess I got to find the compound, but you guys were on point with those more, that uh, adjustment. Right. Uh, stay low. No tube fire until uh, you're both set up. I'll give word. The milk is five two two four. Range will be nine forty. Add one hundred, so eleven forty. Uh, we're gonna add seventy five again. Uh, so make it twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Roger. Twelve hundred. Five two two four. Ready. Uh, you guys can get a little bit more dispersion. Uh. Yeah, Hodos, uh, go over to that next rock wall. You don't need to be oh, so close. See that one. <laughs> yeah, I was also waiting for you guys to, like, get Arma Fucky and blast the guys in front of you. Murphy? Well, no, that was there you go. Two ones ready. Right Copy that, two ones ready. Hodos, advise when you're ready. <clears throat> Will do. You know what would have you know been great? Is if we had Willie Pete and I could have you just 
make a wall of smoke around them so they have a shit time spotting us. War yeah. crimes. No, not on the target. But if the wind drifts that way, well. Hey, we have targets at that fucking. Um, you have to down VTOL? V yeah, VTOL. We have a fire team there. Copy that. Uh, keep eyes on their heading uh, north. Fuck. Do one or two few status? Two few is almost ready. We're gonna fire two and adjust for an effect, Gardner. Okay. Fire two adjust for an effect. Ooh. Ooh, impact. Can we get these rounds out? Yep. Go ahead, send him, send him. Fire. Run out. Let it go. Two two fire when ready. Yeah, I'm gonna stick behind this hardcover. It's a nice handy thing I should probably utilize. Facts. Suggested. <laughs> I wish we had E-tools. I wouldn't... Okay, I think we're overshooting. Drop 7-5. Two, one is fired. Fire. One. Drop 7-5, firing. Honestly, yeah. you should probably just fire for effect. Remember, I got 12 extra yeah. rounds to Dang. divvy up between you guys. I got Go two fire missions. Loading. You have two more rounds. Hanging. Three up. Loading. Bravo, what's your fire mission? How far? Yeah, hanging. Four rounds up. We have fired our second Loading. range shot. Hanging. Okay, those are on target. Waiting for effect, and we'll continue firing for effect. You want any more fire missions on that? I. Let's wait in here. If we hear a bang, pack it up and move. Alright, drop two five for now. Get ready for another fire mission. We might be hitting their mortar pits. Stand by. We may have more fire missions waiting to see if they have return fire. I am. This is Bravo. We have eyes on at least one person still alive in one of the bunkers. We're attempting to eliminate that bunker of any threats. Copy. Be advised. We're not going to kill things with that. We're not going to kill that, that bunker. Yeah, that injured me. What the fuck? Flashbang! Jeez. I'm blind. I'm uh, blind. Southwest, I think. Suppressing. You man. <sighs> we want to go. Frag. Frag out southwest. Frag out southwest. Frag out. No eyes on that contact. We have audio. Pack your tubes. Get defensive. Vehicle audio northeast. Fire and displace. Drop smokes. Move. Get your tube, get your tube, get your tube. Hey, I got intel for you, Gilbert. Yep. I got an enemy I can't have a multiple military tent. Break, break, break. Clear back blast. Clear. Get him, Gilbert. <laughs> Alpha, status. Stages down. Right. Copy that. Just fucking carry him and move. Drop a wall of smoke. Frag out. Push southeast. Rushing close. Fuck, he had an RPG. Move, move, move. Don't treat yourself. Just get moving. Oh, wait, actually, hold us. You do cheer yourself because you're fucking limping. <laughs> yes. That's our Here, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Fuck, we don't have splints. Cal, Cal, Callahan, I need you. Follow, I need you on uh, Bravo's position. Just carry him and move. Why, there's nobody on the Copy, I'm coming. Oh, I can carry you. I was holding wait, one. Stage. Just, uh, I'm carrying him. Everybody, just go ahead and push off southeast. I'm probably going to. We're gonna bleed out, but we gotta get away. Uh, no, I got, I got Tage back I here got behind a rock. I'm healing him. No, no, it's me that's bleeding. I haven't managed myself. Keeping gun up. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but one guy just basically put a ton of shots in my leg. Alpha status? Fuck! Oh, 
<sighs> God damn it. Uh, Tage is still down. Uh, we're holding security. We're working on him. Oh, come on, Hodos, let him know. Let him know. He's down. Hodos, let him know actual is down. You gotta take command. Are you good, too? Did you fuck up, too? Come on. Which line you getting? Come on, guys, it's... Oh, I'm gonna chew people out for this shit. This is Bravo. I've got Killborn on me, dragging him back. I'm also gonna chew out Bravo because that took fucking ages for them to get set up. Alpha was dropped and ready to go. Cover Murphy. Throw some smoke if you got it. Come on. Fucking move. Pick him up and move, Hodos. I'm glitched somehow. I can't move him. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Just keep moving. Oh, it's because you have a broken leg or something. You support me. I'm breaking him up. Dude, look at his legs. Look at Kilborn's legs. The fuck? Um, yeah, but his legs are just like this. Index, index, index. Index, index. There we go. There we go. The legs were wacky. Yeah, I was kind of fucked. You like to see the legs fall into the ditch? Yeah. I ended up at, uh, I could hear my heartbeat just then. Hodos, you gotta step up, bro. The second you saw me down, and you knew Tage was down, you should have stepped up. Because, uh, especially in a critical moment. I didn't know Tage was down. Yeah, if, if you don't hear a team leader on net, something's wrong. Step up. Even if they're, like, not unconscious and they're just busy, they'll let you know. Alright. Uh, we'll go ahead and debrief that real quick. We pushed out from our starting point. Got up to RP one immediately. Took contact. We dealt with that pretty quickly. Some good old fire maneuver. Glad to know that we still have our rifleman basics ingrained in our heads. Um, from there, we kind of spent a little long at ORP-1, just kind of reconning the area. Um, there's some good and some bad there. Uh, we got some good recon time in, but we kind of spent a little too long doing it. So um, I guess for the going forward, if we are, let's say, busy making marks, maybe we need to spread that responsibility out uh, among our teammates so that we get that done quicker so we can get off that area faster. Um, Movement away instead of uh, going on the front slope. Um, we decided to go on to the back slope, come around, and do this um, more more in a smart manner, which actually led us to being able to uh, spot the team that was coming up on us uh, over here. Rather than if we had pushed down here, they probably uh, would have uh, been able to engage us at a more inopportune time. Um, our movement and engagement. Uh, as we're moving along this hill, wasn't too bad. Um, I know there was a lot of contact to the west while um, Alpha was engaging the encampment. Um, I don't really have much for um, mortar gunnery or marksmanship. It seemed like people were hitting where they were supposed to do, or at least getting talked onto their targets pretty well. Um, I think what we might uh, be lacking in is just some of the... Uh, principles like uh, positioning, making sure we're not positioning ourselves right next to another mortar team, um, making sure that we're not positioned where the uh, mortar gunner or team lead uh, is skylining, um, that sort of thing. For communication-wise, um, I think we did fairly well given our radio issues, but uh, we could definitely improve our procedures when uh, COC starts going down. So like we were just mentioning here, um, if you don't hear a team leader on 5-9-er, that means that somebody needs to step up. Doesn't matter who it is. It could be a gunner even. It's whoever recognizes the need for somebody to step up, gets on the appropriate nets, and relays the situation. Because at, the, at that point, we have no team leaders on net. We have three casualties. That's uh, more than a third, almost half our entire weapon squad probably something, a situation that needs to get relayed. 
Makes sense. Yep. All right. Uh, Deuce, did you have anything that you saw that you feel like uh, should be pointed out? No. I thought your guys' uh, movement was pretty strong. Like you stated, RP1. You, or what which one was that? Yeah, ORP1. You guys stayed there for a little bit too long. So yeah, that's, that's, all I had. that's what I figured. You need to go on yelling for them. Oh, sorry. I said, yeah, that's what I figured out. That, part of that, I think, also was everybody just learning how to accurately put the marks down. And uh, until we realized, like, honestly, utilizing a mix of C-Tab and, uh, like, with C-Tab, you, you can get a bearing and range. So you can see the terrain feature that it's on and then actually mark it on your physical map. Because I noticed on uh, C-Tab, it looked like they weren't actually marking. Yeah. Well, on that, you, do, you did have Russ, so he could have... Hope you guys yeah. Oh, I was also having problems with C tab. Like I was. Yeah, I think that I markers. think that's what tripped us up. But but utilizing C tab, you can get the range and bearing, so you know which terrain feature you're looking at. Might make your life a little bit easier, and then you just drop it on the other map. Just a mark, even if it's just a temporary dot. Since uh, like I w I was also fucking about trying to get the timestamp. I could not click timestamp, so I had to manually enter that, which slowed it up. But I think if we get that down. Now that we know like what's broken, what's not, and what we can do, I think we'd be we'd probably cut the time in half. And one more thing while I'm thinking of it too. Uh, mm -hmm. When you guys broke from contact up on that hill, I would not recommend pushing down um, into this open area right here. I would do what you know the other guys did and push into this forested area. You guys yeah. just got absolutely slaughtered. So. Well, yeah, and if they if if I'd uh, known if I'd thought about the trees here, I would have pushed us here, but. I was just trying to uh, get away from the guys who are geared up as riflemen, and we are not really, <laughs> with walking wounded, and no, like, we had Callahan only as a person who could uh, deal with splints and shit. Alright, uh, besides that, uh, does anybody have anything they'd like to add? Anybody else? A uh, quick question. Uh, Bravo, what was, uh, what was the sticking point? I saw you guys were having trouble getting that round out. Uh, which time? Uh, w this last bit right here. Um, I know I had to get you guys to reposition, but it felt like it took you guys a bit longer than it was the past few times. What happened? If you're talking, we can't hear you. Yeah. Wiggle it, wiggle if you're talking. He can't wiggle while he doesn't have a weapon out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he's talking. Um, turn it up, Murphy. Get up, Whisper. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of delayed on him getting out the azimuth and the bearing range. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, like I said, we had the mark on map. If you go to your micro dagger and scroll to it, you can double click on that mark. Like, just zoom in to, so that you're precise, and then just double-click on that marker roughly around it, and that'll give you a waypoint. And, um, I don't have a micro dagger. Yeah, no, this is for Hodos. And then once you do that, um, you can use that, set the waypoint, and relay it to the guys. That's how it was getting everything out pumped out quicker today. I mean, and then... Okay, I'll definitely keep an eye on that. Yeah, and then worst comes I'm to worst, you can eyeball it. Together. Like, the, the main thing is, get a round out. If if all else fails, you're suppressing the target. I had 12 extra rounds of HE, charge one on me. You know, we could have we could have kept their heads down, keep their mortar teams from running to the things, and we could have shot and moved. The entire purpose of that last bit there wasn't to try and destroy anything, really. It was to maybe get lucky and hit the mortar's nest, because I don't, because they, by their very nature, they cannot be in a uh, hard top cover. That bunker, fuck it. We're not going to kill anybody inside that bunker unless we get a magic shot, which is not going to happen. The job is to kill the mortar yeah. teams so we can close and engage. Or, failing that, back off and, you know, have a notional rifle team come in later. The real juicy target, if we got around to, was that enemy barracks. Yeah, but the main thing I wanted was the arty, because the second that arty's out of play, we get to suddenly close in with the enemy and take them on a, b a little bit more on our leisure. Or we get to fall back and hit the spotting squad that was coming after us, the chasers. But we couldn't do anything. We couldn't set up any defensive positions or, you know, have a choice of terrain until we got that artillery taken care of. All right. 
One other thing uh, I'd like to note is uh, utilizing mortars for a reaction to contact uh, is actually a little more useful than I thought it would be. I thought it might take a crew too long to get set up, but uh, fucking Draper and Gardner showed that uh, you can actually use them in a reaction to contact scenario, uh, which we did twice. Um, the first time when those guys were up on that hill, we just immediately set up a mortar. We just used bearings and a rough range. We just guessed the range. And uh, they seem to be effective uh, both times. Uh, so Yeah, that was actually... <laughs> keep that in mind. You have that capability of um, basically launching a bigger 40 mic mic uh, at the enemy uh, in a reaction to contact scenario. Yeah, also, I'd, I'd like to say what really helped with that was um, Bravo working with me, and we were able to pop shots with the rifles at them, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but they were suppressed. They were being stationary. They were huddling within a, like, 15-meter area, so when those rounds hit, they hit the entire fire team, and that's if we didn't manage to, you know, drop them. So that was a... Yep. That destroyed that team very quickly. Oh, and uh, moving targets, uh, a neat little trick uh, that Alpha kind of got to see. Uh, if you know their rough range when you first saw them moving, uh, but you don't know how fast they're moving and if they're moving towards or away from you, you can add or drop 50 as you go uh, and just keep sending rounds. Um, the majority of them, of them might miss, but you're going to get at least one good hit on them uh, if you're walking your rounds up on them or away from them. Um, and that's a pretty effective tool for on a moving target. Yep, that was that was actually pretty cool. All right. Besides that, I have nothing else. Your next event is the operation this weekend on Sunday. Um, ITX. Yep, ITX. Um, briefs are. Uh, mandatory, but if you can't make it, I'm not going to hold it against you. Um, just make sure you're here at least for mod check and um, load in to the server uh, with enough time to figure out any mod issues. Sounds good. Nobody to me. has anything? I'll make sure that I get that training report in most likely tomorrow because I got to get some sleep. Um, nobody has anything else. You're good to go. Uh, if we ran the the mods ran today, are the same as we're gonna do for the ITX, right? Yeah, it should yep. be. Yep. But just to make sure, always load into the mod check before you go into an official event. Hey. Yep. It'll also allow us to spot if they fix the arsenal boxes ahead of time. <laughs> that would be nice. I wonder what they're gonna do for the C tab SOP with equipment. Um, I, as far as I know, it's either fire team or squad level. I think it'll be fire team because it's just a GPS. Yeah. And then squad leaders get the Android and platoon gets the tablet. Although it, the Android and the galaxy are the same damn thing, aren't they? Yes. The Android is the galaxy. Yeah. They're just different. They're different uh, looks for it, but they're the same. What I'd really like to figure out is why we can't play stop markers. Uh, oh, if uh, one of you guys wants to have the rugged tablet, if you've never played with it before, I do have a helmet cam. I do. I've been mess watching you guys. Nice. All right, thanks Good for round, filling in Miller. Well, I think he's already gone. Yeah, Miller left. And then uh, Hale had to leave, but I'll make sure he gets filling points. Also, I want to give Rust a, like a best bait award. Because he saw, he, he contacted several enemies ahead of us. <laughs> and they started chasing him. We did. I just didn't want to break contact. It, I, one of the machine gunners that originally was chasing us that engaged you guys. Oh. 